Well, I've got to be honest, I wasn't terribly optimistic that we'd see any elk this morning. But uh, we've got the herd we went after yesterday, maybe 250 yards below where they went into the timber yesterday. I mean, we were right there. So I'm gonna get some footage for you guys and then we're gonna keep an eye on them and uh, <laughs> try, and, try and pinpoint them a little better if we can. It's exciting to see them. It is cold this morning. It got really cold last night. We were pretty cold in the bed of the truck. I feel like my face is half numb and the wind chill is nuts. Um, so we got some extra layers on. Uh, sun's about to come up about 15 minutes and uh, should be good. It's hardly a cloud in the sky. We've been watching where those elk went in for an hour, hour and a half, and we haven't seen them come out. So we're going to go drop a few things off and head up there the same way we did yesterday. I think the main thing we'll do a little different today is once we get in their general area, we'll sit and listen for longer. We're gonna try and get a good locate on them and go from there. I'll see you up there. We're on our way. It's exciting. Question for you guys. What's your response when you're in the woods and somebody asks you if you've been finding animals and you have been finding animals? Do you just come right out with it? And say, oh yeah, we saw a herd of elk over on this ridge over here. We're going after them. Or are you coy? Just be like, nah, just saw some deer. <clears throat> what is it? You know, I, I don't ever, I don't ever like to be dishonest, but you know, we just bedded that herd and somebody pulled up next to us and, and asked if we'd seen any elk. I said, you saw some deer. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it feels a little dishonest and I'm not a fan of that, but I'm also not a fan of telling people where all the elk are at. So yeah, curious what you guys do. Are you open about it? Or do you feed, feed them bullshit? Or do you just say, no, I'm still looking. What is it? I'm curious. What do you guys do? What do you expect to hear? Do you ask other hunters? We never ask. We never ask because we don't like being asked. I'm curious if you guys ask and what you say when you're asked and you found what you're looking for. All right, we're gonna keep trucking. We're gonna kill this dandy bull today. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button. You're about to see some elk action. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And please hit that notification bell because we have more videos coming your way and we don't want you to miss it. Thank you to everybody who has subscribed. We really appreciate it. Let's do this, huh? specific route to avoid getting our scent over there and to minimize noise. So it's been pretty invaluable to be able to have this in my pocket and just whip it out and check it, move on, whip it out, check it, move on. So yeah, we're uh, maybe about 100 yards from where we're gonna sit. And that'll put us about 200 yards from where we saw them top over and uh, we'll listen for a while. Hopefully we hear something. Otherwise we're gonna have to go in blind again or call, which I don't wanna do. for about 25 minutes and just listen. I think it'd be really valuable if we could pinpoint where they're at. All right, it's 12.30. We're gonna go up about 100 yards closer, still slightly on this side of the ridge, and then sit in front of a tree and listen for a little bit more. of the timber they went in for over an hour now. We haven't heard a 
this thing we're probably about 125 yards from it right now there's a tree about 25 yards up that's pretty big we're going to use that as cover it's like just over the other side of the ridge line so we'll sneak up behind that and try and glass through it into the timber they might be in and figure it out they've been quiet i'm going to try a couple soft cow calls see if i can get a location and if it fires up maybe we can call it in but at least we can get a location Pretty 
sure you heard him. What you doing there? I got my Ignite. Uh, I could use a pick-me-up after that letdown. <laughs> uh, got my little Sawyer squeeze pouch. Fill it up. It's a uh, pink lemonade. <laughs> we don't carry an algae, so this little bag is perfect. She just keeps it rolled up in her pack until it's needed. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're just, uh, there's no way we're catching up with those elk. I don't think they smelled us. Um, just didn't feel right. It sounded like the cows busted out and the bull followed him. He was probably inside of 60 yards at last bugle. Yeah. Um, but we could only see about 30 to 35, which was a great setup. Um, he definitely came a little closer but I don't know, just didn't go right. I think the wind was good though, thankfully. Yeah. Um, having you know, been in there, I'm confident we couldn't have snuck up on them. So I'm glad we did what we did. We'll just try and figure out what kind of calling method might work or catch them in a better spot. We think we know where they're headed. So we're just gonna finish snacking and go try and find them again. Just trying to get lucky. I think we're on their tracks. This is where we thought they would be headed. And we've been tracking them. But I'm telling you, the way to tell where we're going is that that's the direction the wind's gonna start blowing. It's so frustrating. And we've been hiking different ways. Followed us down this way, followed us up. I just hope that it's catching the ridge staying high and not going down. Cause they're most likely somewhere right here in this timber. We'll drop down and figure it out. at this point. I think we'll just go sit over here for a little bit and listen. Sheep. 
We've been over where those elk went for about an hour. Just sat, laid in the sun, hoping they would pipe off. Finishing up a snack and we're gonna hightail it back to the other side of our camp where we saw a couple herds a couple nights ago. So we'll bugle one more time before we go. And if we don't hear anything, we're gonna bust out of here as quick as we can and get up in some other hills for the evening and see if we can make something happen. Where'd we go? Super thankful for that encounter today. Always want more. Wish we would have seen him. But it's fun hearing him. What's up guys? We uh, are on the other side of the mountain now, working our way up. We're just about on contour with where we want to be. So we're side island over there. Made really good time getting over here. We're gonna be in position when we need to be. So we'll talk to you later. Okay, we got out just where I thought they would be. Right now we just have three cows and a calf. But I think it's the same herd we saw two nights ago. There was a five point with them and a really nice six. I came in and scent checked from the same uh, timber patch. So we're in the open, they're in the open. We're gonna figure out how to cut the distance and hopefully a bull pops out. They're just coming out of the trees right now. Well, the plan almost worked, but it's just cows. No bull. It's starting to get dark. We're gonna start picking our way down the hillside, head back to camp. Thankfully, this is also a good glassing spot and we were able to pick up another herd over this direction, a few ridges past. We'll try to figure it all out in the morning. We also spotted a couple elk over not too far from camp and then another elk on another mountain we've been watching. So there's elk around still. That's, that's a promising. It was a good day. It was a good day. We got close to a really big bull and we're probably 30 seconds away from something going down if it weren't for the cows busting out. At any rate, I'm thankful for the encounters and the opportunities and uh, 
look forward to that time when it all lines up. For now, I think that's gonna be it for us. We're gonna beat feet down the mountain, get a good rest. We'll catch you guys bright and early on the glass and knob, finding some elk to go after. If you heard that, that was my stomach. It's time for dinner. Anyways, thank you for watching. If you thought that bull should have come in, hit that like button. If you didn't think he should have come in, but you still like the video, hit that like button. All right. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next one.